Yo, what is up, yo boys and girls, and today we're gonna play Class of 09. So apparently, this game is supposed to make fun of, like, the whole, uh, generic anime stuff where the main guy gets all the women and stuff, you know, you know how the guy gets all the girls, every girl he meets, but gets the girl, I almost, like, he just gets a harem or something, or he just gets a, or everyone just likes him automatically, and just never gets rejected. So this is kind of the different opposite of it, like, it's more darker humor, they always get rejected or something like that, the guy's always always get rejected so I'm kind of interested where this is gonna go from here and uh yeah this will be my first playthrough of this game all right let's get Make right into it no mistake I'm a sociopath oh god that sounded evil let's rewind a little I grew up all over coastal America house after house after restraining order everything just kind of blends in damn the restraining order 50 my mom landed on tails like eight times so by the time i was 14 right i moved from seven different houses and attended six different school districts damn. after a while you don't see a point in making friends the vitamin c graduation song yeah i can't relate but then one year all of that almost changed for the first time ever, I found myself in a school for two consecutive years, going on three. And Damn. then I, like, started turning pretty a month into high school, so the guys hitting on me social <laughs> oh my leverage God. was really yeah. awesome. The popular girls would talk to me all the time. And they were just stupid. Like, they'd always been pretty. Never left out. Never alone. And when I think about it, all the thinking I've ever done was when I was alone. I was nice about it and thought I'd always be nice about it. Finally in one place to build a steady reputation. And then life said, fuck that. My piece of shit gamer Damn. brother got us evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. It's like not even what? good music. Anyway, so mom was crying, packing I didn't even up get caught. boxes. And that's when she told me we're moving out of state and I just got settled. I Damn. said, fuck you, I'm living with dad. He's just a neighborhood down. I put the boxes down, go over, knock on the door and boom. Oh my I'm God. Shot. My second Christmas killed himself. I walked what? in. The floor looked like a whole ass video. <laughs> what? <blood> everywhere. <laughs> and get this. The, the intro. Was what? In the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. <laughs> All wrote on it, Nicole's fault. What? I'm Nicole, by the way. Hi. What the fuck did I do to him? Maybe I missed the office softball game. Men are so into this revenge suicide thing. What? But whatever. It doesn't matter. What? Nothing matters. I'm moving. Again. City, county, state. All the same fate. Oh my god. But I've always said that while leaving. This time, it's on arrival. What? Oh my dude. This is like on a whole other level of edgy. Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> god, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you oh! know educational prison? <laughs> Wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's, like, numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like I Hold on, bro. Damn, this is, like, okay, I didn't expect the pacing to go like this. So, so this is, like, a whole movie slideshow type of thing. So this is, like, Jesus, dude, this this is going by so fast. I am intimidated on a whole other level, too. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Okay. <laughs> like, like a school tour? You want to do that? You up for that? Um, okay. Humor the school. Decline and go straight to class. Tell them off and cut class. Well, let's school go, tour. Let's um, be educated students here. That sounds nicely mediocre, but I'm just going to go to class. See ya. Oh, well, yeah. I, I'm Crispin, by the way. Yeah, we should hang out sometime. Yeah, okay. All right, bye. Yeah. It's not going to happen, oh, buddy. you must be new. Yes, please take a seat next to Jeffrey. Hey. What's up, Jeffrey? Hey, so, uh, I guess, I guess we're lab partners, huh? Yeah, man. I guess. Not a big talker, are you? Hold on, bro. First, I need to, like, uh, the scene volumes, um, should be good. I don't know you. Are you just chummy with everyone you meet? Not everyone. But if they look the type to like anime, they may as well, right? I'm sorry, I look like I like anime? How do I fix that? No, no, that's a good thing. <laughs> it means you're cool and different. What's wrong with anime? Pounds. 
What was that? Oh, nothing. Was just converting British currency in my head. Cool. See? Um. Well, the teacher said I'm Jeffrey. What's your name? We know that, buddy. But what's wrong with the anime? Anime's pretty good. Damn, dude. I just. Why do I feel dissed by that all of a sudden? Okay, this freak is not getting my. <laughs> Oh my god, pretend to be nice. I mean, we can pretend to be nice. Should I be mean? Screw it, dude. Let's be assholes. What, so you can look me up on MySpace or something? No thanks. Well, we're gonna get to know each other anyway, right? Probably not. Probably after this week, we won't even talk anymore. I've moved to a lot of different schools, so I'm fully aware you're using the New Kid Grace period. What's New Kid Grace period? Ugh. <sighs> It's where the outcasts squeeze all the interaction they can out of new kids way above their social status. So when the new kids get Damn. here, it's awkward. They don't know who's who. They'll humor any conversation or friendship until they find the people on their social level. How do you oh. know I'm not on your social level? Fucking look at you. Listen to how you talk. How do you know I'm not? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I know. It's what you will do. I've had my ear talked off about comics, laser swords, lowering the age of consent, ninja hand signs, just all that weird shit. You know, the other pretty girls here are a lot nicer than you are. They talk to you because it's funny. Get a clue. Oh, yeah, damn. We oh, are you're funny? jerks. A joke. Oh. Well, <laughs> you know, like, in the moment, you had to be there kind of funny. Okay, Jeffrey, you want me to save you years of guessing? Yeah, sure. How? They're not laughing with you. They're laughing at you because they'll never have sex with you. Ah, I got you there. A lot of the girls here said they're saving themselves for me. Oh my they make god. That obvious here? Yeah, they're kind of easy if you ask me. No, wait. Uh, believe what you want. I'm going to lunch. Dude, this is painful to watch. This is, this actually just, oh my god. You can really tell, like, this is an early 2000s, like, era type of thing. Like, oh, bro, people used to talk like this? <laughs> Bro. Oh my god, I'm so glad I'm just a grown-up, you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm an adult because dude kids are awful damn <laughs> Jesus Christ, I mean damn bro like Jeffrey didn't really seem that bad of a person He just he just wanted some friends man. The man's lonely, bro Man, the man is just lonely rest in peace to Jeffrey I'm funny. I know I am <laughs> The food here is tragic. Even the air has preservatives. Fucking tell me about it. That's why I pack. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you. Nah, it's okay. You can sit here. I'm Jekka. Where are you in from? Uh, chemistry, I think. I don't know. I didn't really do anything. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you have to, like, wash acid off you before you can touch your food. I'm not eating anyway. The guy I had to sit next to scared my appetite away. Pretty much oh. just me away in general. Who was it? Do you know? Um, Jeffrey? Oh, yep. He's a fun one. But he's so, like, overly chummy. That's fun to you? No, like, fun to fuck with him, duh. Freshman year, every girl put love notes in his locker, right? Oh! Up to some of the girls' boyfriends, like, ah, she's in love with me now. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. But oh! You guys just beat the shit out of him for it. <laughs> of all these stupid anti-bullying rules. I never got Why? to enforce that. It's baby simple. If you don't want to get bullied, just be hot and sociable. Fucking accurate. I'm Nicole, by the way. This is so cringe, uh, dude. Around, oh my god. Nicole! You ready for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Dude. Why? What happened? Just like, waking up in general hurts. And I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? Like, 26. He just freeloads off my mom. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. He's not that. Good to know. Hey, let's gossip more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. <laughs> Where's you the love Isn't education? Isn't that, like, abusive? 
She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Damn, that's sad. So where are you headed? Um, gym class, photography. What's gym class? Uh, I mean, I know what gym class is. Damn, bro, look at this old ass phone. <laughs> is this like, is this a flip phone? Or like one of those like you uh f you kind of like slide it and it was like a text. Oh, this is this is the slider phones. This is one of the sidekick phones. Okay, okay, okay. I was like wondering. I was like, wait a minute. I remember having a a BlackBerry of this. Uh, my dad gave me one of them. Dude, this game is Look, so it's edgy. The first day. No funny guys. No comedians. No bringers of the ha ha. Okay. This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit okay. as fuck. I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole. You want my phone number too? No. <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Uh, go lock. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want zero. So let's let's go to the locker room and change. How did I put the shirt? Oh! I don't even need the school logo. Okay. I'll just bring my own shitty shirts. Having trouble, Nicole? What the uh, fuck? <laughs> Why is he in the path? Say! What? What? Get out of the bow! Now, please. You know something? You're feisty. What? Bro, leave! What the did you fuck? What? Bro, no. Oh wait, this is happening. There's no way. This shit is not real. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Fucking dying, dude. My female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students too. Uh, See, you just snap back like that. I no. like it. Oh. Sexy. What? Stop! I'm saying this to a 16-year-old in the girls' locker room. No! What's age? Look at you. You're mature enough. Oh! No! No! I'm not humoring him. Scream it. <laughs> the gym teacher's trying to fuck! Honey, quiet down there. I need this job. He won't get his hands off this minor ass! Oh my <sighs> god, what are you doing in the girls' locker room? Why are you turning around for this man? <laughs> Underage. Oh my, my god, bro. Major, to be honest. Why is she been at this school for 15 years? No one will believe you. The security cameras will. I know installing those spy cameras. Okay, my question is why is she talking to him, turning his ass at bro? Huh? Like, turn around. Did they, did, were they too lazy to create another avatar of this bitch? Bro, turn around. He's the man, bro. Why is your ass toward him? Uh, dude, I can't, dude. I can't with this game. I can't. Dirty cameras would screw me over. Bro. This might sound fucked up, but I'm almost happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. I'm what? definitely happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. Do you see all this cool shit we bought? Yeah, the settlement money is pretty nice. My mom was like, I'm in touch money. I'm like, whatever. The media wouldn't pay us nearly oh this much. Oh my Who God, needs morals when you dude. have designer? So, it's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Like, academically or socially? Everything, anything. Honestly, it's going pretty good. Oh, that's great really? to hear. Really? Really? Leaving schools can be hard. And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But mom, I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. Excuse me? Like, yeah, like, actually, like what this. the hell? Anytime a guy asks for my company, asks me out, asks for anything, and I make decisions entirely for myself, not concerned with their feelings, there's no stress. Honey, that sounds a little mean-spirited, don't you think? Yeah, well, what's the alternative? Being used to do shit? People, especially men, are the perfect pawns when you don't give a fuck about them or whatever they want. I, I feel bad for this child because she has had the wrong experiences. Dude, you had a whole grown ass man. Like, I, I like, look, I get it, bro. Like, it, <laughs> I didn't even know what to do in that situation. I was like, bro, like, just scream as loud as you fucking can. But, nah, what's tripping me out still is that one bitch that came in and had her ass turned his way. I'm like, dude, did they not create another character, like, avatar for this woman and just, like, had her straight towards looking at the gym teacher? Bro, I just 
where was this game in my life? Like I've never seen it's cr I've never seen this game before. But I I saw it one day on TikTok, and then it came on my research uh, page on my YouTube analytics, and I was like, what is this game? And I kept seeing it my recommended, and I didn't think it was this wild. <sighs> I won't argue. I'll just hope you learn how to interact like a human being when you're a senior. So you're telling me it's a requirement for women to be pushovers or sociopathic? What the fuck happened to feminism, mom? Nicole, I don't know any woman who actively considers feminism. We vote and work. It's just a fun thing to say. Okay, well, fuck feminism. I'm starting Nicoleism. Is that Nicoleism? <laughs> yeah. The main concept is girls removing all the emotional attachment from anyone. Oh, I'm Even sure their parents? Boy soon, and you'll be all over this. How can I meet a nice boy when all men are just rapists and pedophiles? Is fucking Whoa. nice, mom? Whoa! This conversation is over. Yeah, like, dude, no, end that shit there, bro. Like, damn. Why do I feel attacked right now? <laughs> and so you see, the aperture actually gets wider the lower the f stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? <clears throat> <laughs> Dude, you really need that pop like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. Mr. White. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Um, passive aggressive eye roll. He can't tell you what to do. Passive aggressive eye roll. Um. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay, fine. Wonderful. As I was saying, you can't talk like that to her. I oh can shit! Talk any way I like, Jessica. That's not my name. See, you don't respect any of the girls. A guy could just whip his dick out in here, and you just politely say that's enough. <laughs> You're on thin ice right now. <laughs> You're on your face right now because you couldn't make it as a photographer. Wow! I heard it was only three. That's it. Both of you have detention this afternoon. Great. <laughs> I feel like I see you two every week now. So, <laughs> well, what she said, except for the swear to God part. I like to think God isn't keeping tabs on 17 year old girls. Oh, so in your spiritual worldview, God only keeps tabs on fully matured women? Yeah, Miss Lynn, back that divine ass up. Enough. When it comes to repeat offenders. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. She did look fully mature. God damn. Not, not these two, by the way. I'm. The, the, this this classy lady right here. Um, it's no longer <clears throat> a them problem, it's a you problem. And? Yeah, I really don't see what you're getting at. Would either of you like to explain to me why you're in my office from photography yet again? Nicole? What? Yes, Nicole. Do tell. But, uh, lie, lie, and lie some more. Pretend to be sorry to get back to class. Let's just, let's just pretend to get back to class. So fuck photography. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Exactly. Men who teach electives get so insecure when they realize they can't stop anyone from graduating. Bitch, be happy anyone even took your class. It's an art course anyway, like doing your makeup's a huge step down. What's up, you whores? Isn't it art? Wow. Oh, Hi, damn. Color. You shit talking, Mr. White? Yeah, he probably deserves it. What do you want? All right, damn. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's <laughs> pool party? It's October. No, her parents are like really rich. It's Glaston and everything. Yeah, and her pool stuff is sick. They got those four foot long syringe water gun things. What are you, 10? Whatever. Just a little fun on the side while pick- Okay, first off, I don't know any lacrosse person I've ever met in my entire life that talks like that. I think this is like- I mean, this is a game, by the way. I- you know what? Why am I even- you know, just- I'm just leave it. I'm just leave it. I've been here for a year and never once heard of someone having sex with you. I've been here since- Oh! And haven't heard it. Nuh uh Remember freshman year with Jenny Fillmore? She was unconscious! How do you still brag about that? Ew, what, what the-, the reason they have women's college? What? Hey, old news, whatever. You have invites or not? Yeah. You yeah. should be in jail, Why sir. I haven't been here that long. Cuz I have a nice face and I'm not fat. Okay, well, can I tag along with you guys? This weekend's going to be so boring if I can't go. Oh I don't want to be responsible for you oh. ruining the party, but I also don't want to be responsible for you crashing it out of roid rage. <laughs> Nicole's choice. Damn. Fine. Nicole, I know I called you a whore like 2 minutes ago, but could you let me go with you just this once? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? We don't hang out with rape. Uh, the the R words. Um, no one. C Dude, I thought I was crazy when I played games, but this game is on a whole other level. This this game beat me. They it, this game completely beat me. I. 
Oh my god, dude. What did I get myself into? Um, um What on one condition? I'm kind of curious, but I don't... I kind of want to go to this party, but I don't know. Uh, maybe? But you need a conversation starter if we're going to justify bringing you. Like what? Do something impressive this week. Like... Like... Like put something funny on YouTube. Yeah, actually, not a bad idea. Then everybody can watch it at the party. A video of what, though? You know where photography is? At magazine studios, duh. No dipshit, the photography classroom? Yeah, what about it? The darkroom has a whole bunch of really delicate and expensive equipment. Make a video of you just destroying that shit. Huh, really? What do you think, Jacka? I think Mr. White's reaction would be funnier than the video itself, so go for it. Damn, they were gonna sabotage this man. See you there this weekend. <laughs> yeah, making friends. It's amazing how men will do anything just to see us with less clothes on. Yeah, it's like there's laws for it or something. This is a bad way to make friends. So, what are you wearing to Kelly's pool party? Well, summer's over, so no more selling anything. Hello, girls. Going to a pool party in the fall? What? Yeah, well, I don't know, maybe. I can't find anything to wear for it. I could help you out with that. Oh. Do you sell bikinis? Of course not. But swing by my office later and we can take some measurements for the Home Ex Sewing Club. We'll make sure it fits flawlessly to your every curve. Gee, thanks. I'll see you there, maybe. Have a good day at school. What? Did he just say your every curve? Yeah, is he allowed to say that? Oh what my are you guys freaking out god, <laughs> bro. Counselor might have made an advance at me. He literally asked you to go to his office, get naked, and be measured. Yawn, what else is new? Well, okay, what? wait, wait, hold on. He didn't say get naked, you know. I mean, he said the curve part, but like, it wasn't like... Oh my brother, dude, this is so much. I <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep playing. I'm gonna keep playing. It's gonna be okay. Gone here longer than me. How did you not notice? To be fair, he's kind of subtle about it. He's what I subtle. call a marathon pedophile. Oh Sorry, my but god! What the fuck is a marathon pedophile? Yeah, I don't want it. Tries to make you question society's hatred of pedophilia before he actually molests you. Then you'll feel bad if you tell on him afterward. So he guilts you so he can make a routine out of it? Exactly. A predator that plays the long game. A marathon pedophile. That's like the oh. level's worse than what I thought he was going to do. Why do you even want to measure you anyway? For a bikini to wear at Kelly's pool party, he'd have Home Eck make it. Home Eck? What are they going to make? A fucking felt bathing suit? I didn't say I was going to do it. But yeah, I'd probably fall apart after a lap in the pool anyway. Excuse me? You planned on swimming at a pool party? What do you do at a pool party? Is so that, is that what you saw do? What? Why are they like this? That's, that's kind of true. Oh my god. Um, okay. That's kind of. <laughs> Hold on, dude. That's kind of true, though. Like, girls, for some reason, go to parties and just, like, just stand there, don't do anything. Which, I mean, everyone's allowed to do whatever they want, but, like, it's a pool party. Like, it, it's a. And there's a pool. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, maybe I'm different. I just go and swim, but it, it's. A, you guys, people can do whatever the hell they want. Wow. Okay. Um. Damn it! Why are they still using combination locks? The school's soft. No one steals shit anyway. You still aren't dressed. Yeah, they need thumbprint scanners or some shit. It's 2008. Isn't it the future by now? You're gonna be late. No shit. Now, how many spins again? Nailed it. What no way. <laughs> Bro, is everyone just allowed to go to his bathroom? Bro, where is the security? I I don't know the freaking school police. No. <laughs> What's just allowed to go in the bathroom now? What the frick is this? Oh my god, dude. I gotta, I gotta. Opportunity for an A plus in street photography. You know what? I was fooled too, dude. I thought Jeffrey was a good dude. I thought he was a good man, but on his morals and just wanted to make friends. And he just ended up being a pervert, bro. Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> bro. <laughs> oh, brother. This is losing my faith in this game. Uh, I don't even know why I had faith in the first place. I I'm dumb on that part. <clears throat> Completely my fault. Did your cartoons tell you to do this? Ahem, <clears throat> anime? Why didn't anime tell you to screenshot a cam girl in public or something? Oh, Nicole. 
if your brain was as big as your ample breasts, then maybe you'd understand. Hey, Sorry, you think you're yo. Right now? You're a freak. Not even the sex fiend counselor wants to fuck you. Oh. The petty insults will make the development of this photograph all the more satisfying. Oh my Cam god, girls dude. are all oh cheap god. digital oh nonsense. Oh my I god. captured your succulent figure on medium format film. Every little shadow and highlight of your tantalizing midriff captured the way it was meant to be. If you're gonna sexually harass me, could you not talk like a cartoon character while you do it? I do what I want with my words. I'll also do as I please with this photo. Oh on, my god. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Jesus, dude. Oh. Afraid I can't do that. Every boy with a crush on you should pay top dollar for these prints. Or maybe I could hang a giant poster of it out front, humiliating you the way you've humiliated me time after time. What? Because I called you a future pedophile in chemistry last year? Kate, sorry. Now throw it out. You won't convince me otherwise. Huh. Wait, was I at the wrong locker? Oh. Wait, she's in the boys' locker? So, I'm fucked. Totally fucked. Whoa, slow down. What it's even happened? You in your underwear, like, no nipples or anything? Now that you're asking, I'm suddenly worried one might have been halfway out or something. Does areola count as nipple? That's a good question. Either way, I gotta stop this from being developed. This shit always manages to pop back up in the future. What future? You say you're gonna kill yourself every other day. Well, I wanna go out as a troubled teen philosopher, not some slut in over her head. Even in death, you're manipulative. Sorry if I don't want my legacy to be freaks jacking off to pictures of me. I would die for half the self-esteem of a girl who just assumes the whole school would jerk off to her. Do you think I could, like, persuade Jeffrey to just trash the negative? Yeah, if you had cat ears and a tail and were basically a cartoon. Oh, yeah, he's fucked up, I forgot. May as well focus on damage control. It's all you can do. I really hope there's a bomb threat tomorrow. I mean, that's- oh, that's another idea. Yeah, my brother was asking this girl out for like, three months. Three months? Yeah. Did he ask really slowly? Okay, let's just get through three the Three months is a long time. My ruined life. Hey, Nicole. Here it comes. Did you see what happened to the photography <laughs> room? Oh. Wait, what? There's a big crowd up there. It's all in pieces. All these chemicals combined on the floor, too. It's basically mustard gas. There she is. Uh-oh, got a tip. What's going on? Don't play dumb. It's obvious it was you. Jeffrey's given me reason to believe you're the one who destroyed the school photo lab last night. Uh, no. I was at home all night mulling over ways to kill myself. In my office. Now. Damn. What? Yeah, someone just tells you they're gonna off themselves and you just don't. You're, just take them to your office now? That is wild, dude. <laughs> That's honestly. Nah, it's crazy. Make it clear one more time that he has no evidence of me doing this. Well, unfortunately, the breadcrumbs all lead to you. Trying to stop him from developing his picture of you, albeit unflattering, is not a reason to destroy thousands in school property. Did you completely glaze over the last ten things I said? He took a picture in the girls' locker room. And I assure you, he'll be dealt with soon. But you'll soon. know how to deal with the consequences of revealing attire. Destruction of property is not one of them. I was in the middle of changing? You could have been fully nude. It's still unreasonable. What? Wait, I didn't break anything. Fuck what I was wearing. Out of the ten students we questioned, no one else had anything close Why? to What? That's a crazy. Well, ten more. Hey, Miss Lynn. Sorry. Just got to school. I'm signing in late again. In the middle of something here. Oh, with the student? Nicole? Hey, I did the video. You better make good with that pool party plus one. What video? Uh, you don't remember? If I posted a viral video, you'd let me go with you? What is this? Get out! No, wait, it's only like a minute, see? Yeah? Yo, what's up? This is Kyle. <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> he actually... It's just... Oh my god. Fuck photography! It's for people who like animals! <laughs> Nicole, leave my office. Kyler, could I have a word with you? <laughs> You're expelled! <laughs> Bro, no way! Did you see Kyler's video? No, what? What's the deal with it? Here, watch it on my phone. Just hit destroy the photography room. Right? right, Nicole? Huh? Yeah. He did it. He really did it. 
Damn. I mean, pretty much saved your life because of those photos, you know? The That's kind of crazy. was pretty special when you think about it. Yeah, Soldier Boy wasn't a one-hit wonder. Who knew? I wonder which of them is going to die first after high school. Oh, hey, Nicole. Why? I know we had our differences here and there, but sign my yearbook. Tell him what every girl will tell him in college. No. What? No. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no. Like, why Why would and we do that? Again, I can't even begin to describe how proud I am of each and every one of you. Representing your class with a speech, your valedictorian. Are you serious? Jeffrey's our valedictorian? <laughs> what? <clears throat> You should have been Thank expelled. You, Principal Lin and the rest of the faculty declaring me the valedictorian for class of 09. Schoolwork was always important to me during my tenure here. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> anyway, my perhaps God. another amount would put it better. Nicole? If that's okay. Nicole, say a few words. First, I'd like to thank our female authority figure, Miss Lynn, along with her cleavage for symbolizing how the men at this school have treated me here, like a sex object. <gasps> what are you doing? In my two years here, a good 20% of the staff has either asked me on a date or made some other form of sexual advance. I told their supervisors, and they told me to get my grades up. <laughs> are you out of your fucking mind? I sent my daughter here. What kind of school is this? I'm calling the news. Bro, do you, t the hell, bro? You should have been, like, around, buddy. Like, you're a cop. Oh, oops. I was just dropping off my lost textbook check. Awkward. I was on my way out, just packing. They make you clear the whole room at the end of every year? Uh, no. They make you clear the whole room out after you're fired. Whoops. Your apathy won't work on me, Nicole. You're not mad? No, actually. It's been a long time coming. Surprised it didn't happen sooner, to be honest. So you knew ignoring it would come back to bite you? When you fooled around with half your staff, they don't take you very seriously. I know I might seem old to you, but we're actually not too different. What do you mean fool around? You fucked the stat- Oh my god, dude. Oh, dude, no way, dude. So that's why she wasn't doing anything, because she was messing around with the dudes and the faculty. Oh my god, bro. Every adult in this, in this vicinity needs to be in prison. Just terrible influences. They're all just terrible. Everyone's just awful. Using our looks to fuck around with people? That's right. Been doing it since I was your age. Though you really one-upped me. Never letting your emotions trick you into thinking you owed them anything. Rare for a girl your age. It's really not How long rare. Are you to figure that out? I still haven't. In 39 years. 39 years old and I didn't report teachers for asking students out. Because I didn't want to look stuck up. Sometimes all it takes is one night with someone to feel the need to be loyal. Ew, you fucked the counselor? <sighs> Among others. Well, I guess it only makes sense that men impulsive enough to fuck their boss would also try to fuck kids. I thought you hosted the feminism club. Politics or fashion. We pick it for a sense of belonging, not change. Most of us, anyway. Maybe one day, you'll start your own movement. I already have. The coalism or something, whatever it was called. I thought about what Miss Lynn said for months into my first fully legal summer. The manipulation was still fun. What got harder was the escape plan. Now that I was 18, I couldn't just resort to calling older men pedophiles for dating me. I slowed down a bit. Maybe I should start a movement that makes my attitude more common. But it'd be a ton of work to promote. And that's when I learned the grand irony of being pretty. It destroys your dopamine levels. You don't want to do shit. Dudes just buy me drinks, give me things, everything. What incentive do I have to try? Is this why women make less? We don't feel like trying? Actually, I want a stat on the women who quit their small businesses. What percent of them are hot? Or what if their business does really well because they're hot? I guess my point is, if our culture is ran by looks, the stats should take looks into consideration. 
I promise I'll have a political takeaway from my high school years. I just need the numbers. Watching your dad kill himself really fucks you up. Oh my god. Well, if the whole society is run by looks and society is very doomed. Oh my goodness, dude. I... A new message. Alright, thought you were done after one ending? Not by a long shot. Explore every fate of the coal and just might see things her way. Or you're some loser who gets a trigger response when talking to women. Huh. They all run off after getting... They all run off after getting their diplomas. As the months go by, I slowly start to realize they didn't talk to me and laugh at everything. I said because they liked me. They did it to pass the time while they felt trapped in walls of a bed a boredom? Trapped walls of boredom. This is the real world. As I as I now knew it, not even admissions uh, offices humored me without any extracurricular uh, clubs on my transcript. No one would ever let me in in one. I have been working at a gas station to pass the time. Someone who laughed at me in school pulled up with a fancy car, trying to avoid eye contact as much as they could. Do they feel guilty or maybe just past the point of looking for comic, comic relief? I guess 45 seconds at the pump isn't enough time for novelists like me. Hmm. So there's multiple endings in this game. Okay, interesting. I mean, I guess we might just do that then. Or go. Wait, let's go outside. Oh, it just clicks out of the game. Okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> Alrighty. So there are like 15 endings to this game apparently. Which I'm not gonna lie. Um, if this video does any good, I maybe I'll do it. I don't really know if you guys want me to do that. Um, yeah, 15 endings is a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. But if this video does do well, click the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notification. Um, hell, maybe I might do it. But this game was like, it was interesting. Um, <laughs> this game was surely something. I, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right man i'm out of here bro thank you guys for uh watching this today's video i'm gonna see y'all later